In this video, we'll look at the type of bonds between atoms in CO2, that's carbon dioxide. The first thing we want to do is look at what type of elements we have. So carbon, that's a nonmetal. Oxygen, that's also a nonmetal. So when we have two nonmetals, we have what's called a covalent bond, also called a molecular bond. So the first thing we can say is that we're going to have molecular or covalent bonds in CO2. It's helpful to look at the Lewis structure here. So if you need help writing this Lewis structure, there's a link in the description with details how to do that. We note that each oxygen here, this oxygen and this oxygen, they have a total of eight valence electrons, two, four, six, eight. So their octets are full, very stable. The carbon in the center, it also has eight, two, four, six, eight. And it does that by sharing with the oxygens. So in covalent bonds, the electrons, the valence electrons that form the bonds, they're shared. So we have shared electrons with our covalent bonds in carbon dioxide. So because these are shared, that affects the properties and the reactivity of CO2. If we wanted to know the shape of the CO2 molecule, the molecular geometry based on these types of bonds in this Lewis structure, we could look at a visualization. So you can imagine the purple, that's the central carbon. We're going to add two oxygen atoms. They're going to have double bonds. Here's one. And when we put the other one here, they're going to spread out to be as far away as they can from each other. Two. And we can see that our carbon dioxide molecule, it's going to have a linear molecular geometry. We could also talk about the polarity of the molecule. So these bonds here, we have our carbon in the center and our oxygen on either side. Oxygens are more electronegative, so they're going to draw the electrons towards themselves a bit more, and the oxygens will be a little bit more negative than that carbon in the center. So the bond, the type of bond, that CO bond, will be a polar bond. But because the oxygens are on the exact opposite sides of each other, that means the negative charges, they'll balance out, and we'll have a net dipole of zero for CO2. Let's go back to our Lewis structure. So to recap, we said we have nonmetals bonded together. That gives us covalent or molecular bond. The electrons are shared between the atoms, so each atom can obtain an octet. And we have a nonpolar compound because the difference in electronegativity that makes each oxygen a little bit negative, it cancels out since it's a linear molecule. The oxygens are on either side. One last thing, if you're interested in the hybridization, we'd have sp hybridization for the carbon, and then each oxygen would be sp2. This is Dr. B with the type of bond for carbon dioxide, CO2. Thanks for watching.